The formation of blastocysts can screen embryos with developmental potential to a certain extent and improve the success rate of IVF. But not all embryos can develop into blastocysts. Next, we will discuss the factors that affect the formation of blastocysts. What is a blastocyst? After the egg fertilizes, it develops into an early embryo on the second to third day, a morula on the fourth to fifth day and develops into the blastocyst stage on the fifth to sixth day. At this time, the cells begin to differentiate initially, forming a structure composed of inner cell mass, blastocyl cavity, and outer trophoblast called a blastocyst. During natural conception, the sperm and egg are fertilized in the ampulla of the fallopian tube, pushed by the villi. While developing, it moves towards the uterus, and after five to six days of development, it reaches the uterus in the blastocyst stage for implantation. During this stage, the inner cell mass will develop into the future fetus, and the outer trophoblast will develop into the placenta tissue. Factors affecting blastocyst formation. Egg quality. Reproductive hormone receptors. The relationship between hormones and receptors is equivalent to the relationship between keys and locks. When the pituitary gland issues an instruction to grow eggs, the more sensitive the hormone receptors are, the better the eggs mature, and vice versa. With age, the number and sensitivity of hormone receptors will become weaker. Increasing the sensitivity of hormone receptors can improve egg quality. Granulosa cells. There are many granulosa cells around the egg, which provide nutrients for the egg to grow. The relationship between granulosa cells and eggs is like that between grape flesh and grape seeds. If the grape flesh is too small, the fertility of the grape seeds will be greatly affected. With age, granulosa cells decrease and egg quality declines. The number of granulosa cells correlates significantly with embryo quality and directly affects the outcome. Mitochondria Mitochondria are called the energy factories of the egg, and the more mitochondria, the stronger the ability of the embryo to divide. Mitochondria do not replicate during early embryonic development after fertilization. If your oocyte has insufficient mitochondria, it will lead to low fertilization rates, abnormal cleavage, low blastocyst rates, and embryo loss. Sperm quality. Fertilized eggs develop from sperm and an egg, and the quality of the sperm affects the formation of the blastocyst. The data showed that sperm morphology, motility, and sperm DNA damage significantly reduced blastocyst formation rates. Embryology Lab Technique The formation of blastocysts requires not only high-quality egg and sperm, but also laboratory culture techniques. For example, the ratio of carbon dioxide and oxygen in the embryo incubator, micro-insemination technology, time-lapse culture system for dynamic and static observation of embryos, etc., may affect the division and development of fertilized eggs. Please check out the papers of world-class authoritative journals. We investigated 1,014 infertile women taking Shakia DT1 dandelion oral liquid and found that it can significantly increase the activity of granulosa cells around the eggs. It also increases related reproductive hormone receptors such as FSH and LH, blastocyst acquisition rate, and infant birth rate. The power of life can come in all aspects. We wish for every strong and optimistic mother to welcome the arrival of their child someday.